Hey everybody, a uh, quick video update on winter power wall um, and solar production consumption. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting. I feel like a lot of people have questions about <clears throat> somewhere like Washington State, for example, how much energy is actually gonna be produced or able to be utilized in the winter. So now that everything's fully approved, I've got at least October in terms of data to share. Um, with the power walls here. So now it's the two power wall system, um, power wall plus, I guess I should say, next to a standard power wall two. Um, so the total energy, 27 kilowatt um, energy storage, gateway on the outside, um, everything running well. So I put the um, app here on the TV. Don't mind the cord management. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just show a little bit. Um, today is a good example because we're it's been a hundred percent chance of rain all day, like an inch of rain, just dank weather, just awful. Um, and um, yeah, still we're able today, and I'll try to do this without being horrible. But um, today we still generated, uh, as you can see, uh, two point four uh, kilowatt hours of energy which is about 11% of usage. Our house is using 6.3 kilowatts right now. Um, the dryer just came on, so that'll do it. Uh, yeah, and it's fully grid because I have the power wall back up set to 85%. Um, and you can see it's at 86 right now. So it's kind of just, it shows the two power walls in the app and it's just kind of hanging out, showing that 11% power today. Um, yeah, so this is all with the, the newer kind of updated app. So going to the energy portion, and sorry, I wish the screen mirroring made this a little bit better, um, but I was going to go to a month really quick here, and I'll get you a better view. Uh, I'll go back to October. Of course, of course. So in October, and I'll show kind of the combined graph here, um, you can see right in there, um, Essentially you're seeing like overall home usage um, and then kind of like the yellow is the solar generation and the green is the power wall. So with the 86, you know, if we have a good solar day um, or sorry, 85 backup percentage, it's gonna charge up to, you know, 95 or hundred with the power walls and then run it back down to 85, you know, by 10 PM and keep on trucking. So um, yeah, you can see uh, most days we've produced a bit of solar at least, uh, which is really great. Uh, it looks like, you know, the lowest day was 0.5 kilowatts <laughs> um, versus uh, the average is 4.9 kilowatt hours of solar generation. So yeah, with the highest being 10.1, where the high in, um, you know, July, for example, was 20, 27, 28. Um, so yeah, and that's with the four kilowatt, uh, panel array, which is the 12 of the current like solar panels on the roof. So anyway, um, yeah, this is Washington State. So yeah, solar production, pretty uh, pretty decent. I mean, honestly, more than I expected going into this. I expected just to set the thing at 100% and just cruise um, for backup. So anyway, I uh, hope that's helpful for, for some and um, looking forward to sharing a little more data once we have it. Thanks a bunch. Bye.